got some show and tells today. Um, I've got some happy mail and I've got a little project that I want to do. So I think I'm going to do two videos so this, this doesn't get too long. Um, let me show you this first. This won't take but a minute. I have blue fingernails today because for the past three or four days I've had blue hands. They're actually much better. I was finally able to get most of the India ink off of me. <clears throat> um, as you probably know, India ink is nice and permanent and it took me three days of scrubbing, soaking my hands in acetone, benzene, xylene, toluene, every other carcinogen I could find in my house. I even scrubbed them with sandpaper. Finally, the stuff, most of it came off, but I can't get it out from under my fingernails. And it's all like around my cuticles. So, you know, if you can't beat them, join them. I just went ahead and polished them kind of a dark blue to match the ink uh, until it wears off because otherwise I look like a mechanic with grease under my nails and that's not what it is. It's clean. It doesn't come off. It's just unattractive. Anyway, this, I can't remember if I showed this when I did my doodling thing or not. I don't think I did, but there's just a few pictures in here. I've been practicing trying to draw faces, not really, you know, realistic faces like portraits or anything and not, you know, people, obviously. I don't, I don't care to learn how to draw bodies or realistic faces, but I do want to draw, you know, art journaly faces. You know what I'm saying. So this is my little book I've been practicing in. And I just have a few in here. Um, but I really like them. They're fun. Uh, this one I thought she needed some text on her body. So I have that there to kind of inspire me to write on her. This one I love, but you can probably tell I had a lot of trouble with the eyes because, um, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. I was making it up as I went along, and I just ended up with layers and layers and layers of ink and gel ink, um, you know, from gel pens, and it just got really kind of gross and icky. But I finally worked out the design that I like so I can redraw it and do better on the eyes. And this girl, I drew her when I was at the salon getting my hair done a few weeks ago because my hair had gotten really long and I was feeling kind of like that. Oh, look, more hair. Yeah, well, okay, it's a theme. What can I say? This girl, I don't know what she's all about. but And I drew her while I was watching season two of Downton Abbey, and she just came out. I don't know how. I don't know why. That's just what came out. But I think I'm going to color her because I think she'd look really cool colored in with some markers. And that's just another face I started the other day. So that's kind of what I've been practicing on in the um, doodling world. And in the not so doodling world, I have my, this is my day book or my smash book thing, um, Remnants of My Days, where I just put my little daily, you know, whatever's in there. And recently I did a tag swap and got my tags back. This is one of them, and I thought I'd put them in here, but this one being so dimensional, I really couldn't get it inside the book without just completely squashing it. So I put it on the cover. I thought it would make a nice little embellishment on the cover. I just attached it with a, an eyelet. But the uh, other tags, I just made a page here with some painted background papers and some stickers. It says Mixed Media Tag Swap with Bona, September 2012. And then I put all the little tags in these um, envelopes. So I've got them put away, but accessible. This is a problem with a lot of the things. <clears throat> My old art from years ago, It's I have two huge boxes full of stuff in my closet. and. I don't get to enjoy them because they're boxed up. I, you know, I don't have a place for them. I need to get them put into books like this or something where I can enjoy them because they're things that I do want to keep, but I don't see much point in keeping things if it's just going to be boxed up forever. You know, you need to enjoy it. Um, I got some mail. I got some good, good mail. 
This package I have been anxiously waiting for from Germany from my new friend Iris. We met online and we started talking about um, printed papers from other countries. I told her how much I loved when I ran across something in a thrift store that had some foreign text on it and she talked about how it's difficult for her to find English printed um, magazines and, and literature um, there in Germany, at least at, a, at an affordable price. Apparently scrapbooking things in general are very expensive and difficult to come by. So we thought we would just work out a little trade. I would send her some English printed stuff. She would send me some German printed stuff. I got mine the other day and I have to tell you I am thrilled. Iris, if you're listening, thank you so much. These are all so awesome. Some of them, I can't wait to get in there and use them, and then others, I just want to treasure. This is one of the ones that I just want to treasure. It's, it's a series of maps. It's got seven different maps of areas that I, I can't pronounce, and I don't know what they are, but look how it folds out. It's just a very simple little, you know, accordion fold-out book thing, but I... I've never seen one for maps like this, you know, commercially produced for maps. And it's just great. And the maps fold out and they're really colorful. And then they have all those words that I can't pronounce and with the little dots and all the weird consonants. It's just awesome. I love this. Thank you so much, Iris. She also sent this, which is a like a fashion magazine. I don't know if it's the same glamour, like our glamour. It's bound differently, so I'm thinking not. But this one, I've just kind of flipped through, and it's fun to see the stuff, you know, like, okay, we have L'Oreal. That's kind of the same. But then they have some brands and things that I've never even heard of. And even just the pictures and the layout of the magazine is so different. So, and it's just full of fun. I mean, look, these are just screaming to be paper dolls. I have to cut them out. I just have to. So, this has been fun. I've just had a chance to flip through it. I haven't studied it yet. And same with this one, which appears to be some kind of a, like a home decorating magazine. Um, and it, it's Bridget von Bosch? Bach? I don't know, living. So I'm wondering if it's like Martha Stewart's living. Because look, here's this must be Bridget. And she looks like a German Martha Stewart might look, don't you think? I think so. Yeah, but it, it seems to be that same kind of magazine with decorating and recipes and um, that kind of thing. So this is really cool. I haven't had the chance to look through it good yet either, but I'm going to. And this one I'm dying to sit down and, and read through. Isn't that sad? I can't find time. Okay, it's not that I can't find the time to sit down and read a magazine. It's that I'm not good at sitting still, focusing on one thing. I have kind of an issue there. You know, I don't know, you may have noticed that I might have some slight attention problems. Like, I, I rarely finish a sentence. And I kind of finish it in my head. It just doesn't quite make it out my mouth, you know, that kind of thing. So I know I have a little bit of a, an attention thing. I'll be going along just fine. And then, oh, look, a chicken. And then off I go, you know. Then it just, I have no clue what I was talking about before. It's gone. So um, I just have trouble sitting down and concentrating on one thing. But I'm going to make the time to sit down and concentrate on each of these because they're also fabulous. And especially this one because this is like a um, crafts. It's got DIY projects and crafts and decorating and sewing and all kinds of stuff. And I don't know what that means. Is that women? Maybe creative women? Um, it has 20 extra somethings, whatever. And there's Laura. I don't know. I don't know what that is. But these are so fun. And, and they're, all, they're all so German. It's so great. <laughs> and this one, oh, this is so cool. This thrills me because, I mean, I don't know, this is, it looks kind of old. I mean, obviously it is, but I, I love sheet music. 
I'm constantly thinking, oh gosh, if I just had a piece of sheet music to put in this book or that book or this project or whatever, and I never have any. I don't remember to buy it or to look for it when I'm out, and evidently I just don't stumble across it enough, so I never have sheet music. And then she sent this whole book, which looks like just a variety of different operas, and the music that goes with it, and of course the text is in German, and the notes, I guess. Or, I guess music is universal. It's English, it's German, it's whatever. How cool is that? So anyway, it's it's really neat. And this one, yeah, I'm going to be using this one a lot. Um, thank you, Iris. And the package. Even this I'm going to use, the, the envelope that it came in. And it looks like the post office kind of chewed it up and then spit it out. But fortunately, she had it double wrapped, so everything made it just fine. But oh my gosh, that envelope has had an adventure. Um, but I'm going to cut these things off of it and keep those because those are good ephemera just right there. So I am very, very pleased. Thank you, Iris. And I know that was expensive to send over here, and I appreciate that so much. And I promise I will be... You'll be seeing different projects where I use some of those fabulous things. Thank you. Um, I have also another little um, project to show. And, oh, I have one more mail thing. Okay. This, this kind of leads into the project. So let me, let me show this, and then I'll do a separate video for the project so that I don't ramble on. I got this from my friend that I've had forever, from Debbie Ellen, kind of out of the blue. I wasn't expecting anything from her. She sent this adorable card, and inside, look, a stack of these little glassine envelopes. And she wrote a note in there that she saw in one of the videos about how much I love glassine, and she'd had these sitting around forever and didn't know what to do with them, so she sent them to me. Girl, you know that I know what to do with these. Well, okay, I don't really, but you know that I will figure something out to do with these. I'm going to sit here and do this for a while because that makes me happy. And then when I get bored with that, I'm going to put them in books and journals and just all kinds of things. So thank you so much, Debbie Ellen, for thinking about me for um, and for sending these. That was really thoughtful. I'm not thoughtful like that. I'll sometimes think things like, oh, I should send so-and-so one of these or that or the other. And that's as far as I get with it. I just think about it. I never actually follow through and do it. So people that follow through and do it, you have my respect and admiration because I, I just, I fail on that, in that area. But I think about you. I really do a lot. I just don't do anything about it. So anyway, thank you so much, Debbie Ellen, for the envelopes. And I'm going to start working on the next video because you'll see that just shortly after I opened your card with the envelopes, I immediately put them to good use because I got a bunch of junk mail that day, you know, good junk mail, and I needed to store some stuff. So um, I will start working on that. We're going to make some flowers. I know, crazy, right? I don't really do flowers, but I'm doing these. So thank you, Debbie Ellen, and thank you, Iris. And um, that's all for this one.